Okay, so my channel, I don't do a lot of FNAF Plus. Or I don't... Okay, so my channel, I've done a little bit of FNAF in the past. And it's one of those things where I've touched on it, I've mentioned it, I've played a couple of the games. That power generator, that's what we need. We're at 36, this isn't good. Audio You're documenting. Two. One. No. Woke up. Hello there. Ah! Oh, she woke up. Her eyes. No, 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 no. I regret this. Uh. <laughs> yes. We gotta get hype, boys. Yeah! <laughs> Several customers asked what song he's playing. What song he's playing is what the song playing is. And the phone guy shakes his head at the other end of the dining area. He appears distressed. Why did you do this? I don't really talk that much about it. It's not one of the games that I focus on entirely as a content creator, but it's still something that I keep in the back of my mind. Now, with that being said, I've heard a lot of news over the past about the new FNAF movie coming out sometime in 2023 and as well as the new FNAF Plus games. Now, I've been interested by this, and I've, I've thought about it, and I've thought and thought and thought, but this is one of the things that I've never actually wanted to make a video on until I looked more into it. Now, FNAF Plus, if you do not know, which if you don't know, you must be living under Patrick Starr's rock, is a revamp, remake, remastered version of the original FNAF games. Specifically, FNAF 1. You know, that lovely, cuddly teddy bear that attacks you at night? That game. We love that game. There's been a couple screenshots taken from the game, uh, some of them being the new animatronics that are the old animatronics but remade, and I'm sorry, but that Chica is ugly but also horrifying like it has a bigger mouth with more teeth like can we take a take a look at that the foxy has like it, it's blind like it like dogs when they get blind it's blind it has no pupil it is horrifying and the bonnie the bonnie is one of the most like horrifying the scariest creature that first gave scott coffin nightmares back in the original game took it to the 11th degree now I'm looking at some screenshots here and they will be on screen but you have to take they're horrible they're they're so horrible I'm gonna show them on the screen right now these screenshots are horrifying not only do the animatronics just stare at you and stare at you and they hide behind walls when they're in your office they're in your office they sit, and they stare, and they look horrifying. This first image here is what I want to pull up, is one that we have seen before. Now this was actually the original image from the FNAF games. One of it being, you know, that basic iconic image of the teddy bear that is shown in the, 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 the title page. Yeah, that one. Bonnie. Freddy, Chica. Chica's new cupcake, not to mention, is our chef. That's pretty cool. It's horrifying. They look broken. They look old. They look used. Which was the effect the first game was looking for. I'm sorry. Chica is dirty. Bonnie is dirty. That's horrifying. Another image that I want to look at is a screenshot of Foxy. I believe this image is brightened. I cannot tell. Why did I say brightened like that? That's so, so weird. But this is Foxy in your office door. Now, while I'm looking at this, I can't actually look at the image zoomed up. That is how horrifying it is. I think it's just the eye alone being like white, whited out. It, it's, I don't know, it's horrifying. It's the teeth, it's the used, the tattered body. Oh, it is utterly horrifying. Do I ever want to play this game after just seeing that screenshot alone? No. Will I? If it's free. 
Next image I want to look at is, is, is Bonnie. This image of Bonnie, there's two I found here. There's one where he is looking at your window, like how he would kind of in the first game. He wouldn't be looking like how Chica would be looking into the window. But he's, he's peeking. He's taking a nice little, little peek. L little peek. Small little peek. It also looks like you have to turn your camera more. Now, in the original games, you went maybe, you know, a couple pixels, and you, you can see the door, and the, the other door's right there, and it's right in the middle. It, it, it took a little bit of time to move over. This one, you have to move almost a full 700 or 270 degrees. It's going to be a lot more challenging watching the actual doors going back and forth, unless you have, like, a really high sensitivity and it moves really quickly. But even then, you might be able to miss some cues. Now, this photo of Bonnie staring through your window with his eyes wide open is horrifying. I think one of the things that make the animatronic so scary is the lack of eyelids they have. They don't blink. It's just almost the angle of which everything is. And if he's not looking at you kind of like the Freddy in the first, like the, the teaser almost, it's creepy. It's going to be horrifying. Now, he is staring directly at you. And it's not directly at you. It's directly into the camera or the point of view shot that is you. You know, the office mot worker, the security guard, that is you. Another screenshot might be one of the last screenshots we talk about. Is Bonnie in your office? I think this is the lead up to the jump scare. Now, I will not know this until I scarily watch a video on it. Will I play the game again? Probably not. I want to sleep at night. Bonnie sits in your office. Imagine in the original game where the, where, you know, back then when you thought the animatronics were scary and you go on and you're like, okay, they're not that bad. Imagine they just sit in your office. They're just sitting there staring at you. They're not doing anything. Just staring. Like how creepy is that? That is one of the most horrifying things. Now, there's very few screenshots on the game that are different a lot of them are very brightened image images <laughs> and some of them just don't show a lot which is perfectly fine you're trying to hide the game that is understandable except i want to talk about it and i can't really talk about it unless i see it so where will the game lead i do not know what will happen with the game i also do not know will the game be good Probably that I can take a gander and say yes. Will I buy this game? Absolutely not. Thank you guys for watching. If you have not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit the like button if you like the style of videos, and I will see you in the next one. When in doubt, Tandy out.